Welcome everyone. In this video I will show you how to edit and create fill types or hatches in Archicab. You find the fill types menu under options, element attributes, fill types or at our attributes toolbar. Archicad has four different types of fills. Solid fills are just simple monocolored fills which can vary in their opacity. Vector fills and symbol fills are almost the same. The difference between them is that vector fills are made of preset vector shapes while symbol fills can be made by yourself. Image fills are made of JPEG or PNG files. Let's start with a simple solid fill. I call this one 66%. Here we can change the opacity. And that's the only thing we can do with solid fills. Let's make it, guess what, 66%. What else do we have here? We can select the availability of our newly created fill. We can choose between drafting fills, cover fills and cut fills. Well, drafting fills are fills that we use, surprise, for drafting or let's say for 2D drawings like side plans, details or layouting our plans. Cover fills are fills that are shown on top of several elements. For example, meshes or slabs. And cut fills are shown in a section. So, before you create a new fill, think about what purpose it should have and select where it should be available later. On the right side we have this little window where screen only pattern stands. If you click inside you can make single pixels black or white. This little window is just a zoomed in version of the little review that we have next to the fills when we have opened the selection of fills. It automatically changes while editing solid fills, but you have to perform pixel art editing the other fills. Let's take a look at the Victorial fills. As I said before, you can select between the different preset patterns and change size and angle, but you are not able to add a new pattern or edit the existing one. You also are not able to create a new fill as vectorial pattern fill. So we have to select a symbol fill to create something unique. As you can see, we now have the opportunity to copy and paste. You know that already from the customized lines tutorial. If you don't, stop this video and watch video number one first. On the right side we have something similar to gap and size which we had in the lines menu. X1 changes the distance from one object to the next. The default symbol is 1000 mm long, so you have to set an amount higher than 1000 to create a gap or less than 1000 to let the symbol overlay. Y2 is quite the same but only for the Y axis. X2 and Y1 can create an offset across their axis. You can also change the angle, you can stretch the symbol using scale and you can choose if the scale of the pattern should be fixed or not. Let's take some hexagons as example. I already draw some here. Copy. Paste. And we're done. Let's see the result. Last but not least, image fills. Here we can load real image files from our library into Archicad and use them as fills. It's useful if you're not post-editing your plans with Photoshop or something else. You can add seamless texture images here and you can use them in your elevations or floor plans or whatever. You can change size and angle and also mirroring method here. And that's all about editing and creating new fill types in Archicad. So thank you for watching and subscribe to the channel if you won't miss the other videos of the series. And until then, have a great time and most of all, stay creative.